turn, cha-cha backwards. And again, reset. Cha-cha, 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 cha-cha. Welcome to an historical tour of Mangusfield, Downend and Staple Hill. Welcome to an historical tour of Mangusfield, Downend and Staple Hill. Welcome to an historical tour of Mangusfield, Downend and Staple Hill. 
And joining me on this trip down memory lane is Richard Randall of the Dialand Local History Society. I'm Richard, you've taken us to a... Well, the perfect place to be our tour, haven't you? Yes, I have. This is virtually where the recorded history of Nelson begins. It was in this uh, very spot. Virtually, we... In this absolute last season, we... It was in this uh, very spot, virtually, we... In this absolute spot. William Deputo, William Deputo, William Deputo, uh, built his manor house in the uh, 30. William Deputo, William Deputo, William Deputo, uh, built his manor house in the uh, 30th century, and the chapel on the back became uh, St. James's Church, Macclesfield, which is Macclesfield, which is Macclesfield, which is Macclesfield, which is the parish, the parish church in Macclesfield. These to St. Peter's in Bristol. 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 Peter's in Peter's in Bristol. 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 Peter
leave Magusfield Church. We can't leave Magusfield Church without Magusfield Church. Magusfield Church without looking at this notable Magusfield Church without looking at this notable family grave. Magusfield Church without looking at this Magusfield Church without looking at this notable Magusfield Church without looking at this notable family Magusfield Church without looking at this notable family grave. Magusfield Church without looking at this notable family. And it's in 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 this is the pitch slider at the right hand side is well when it's set on the quartz which is the green light button there means it's running at the normal speed um, if you move it up it will go faster and if you move it down it will go slow it goes to minus eight and plus eight pitch adjustment on the Technics Mark III there is a little reset button which can reset the pitch movement which is cool a little reset button which can reset the pitch with which is set button which can reset the pitch with which is set button which can reset the pitch with which is set button which can reset the pitch with which is set button which can reset the pitch with which is set button which can reset the pitch with which is set button which can reset the pitch with which is set button which can reset the pitch with which is set button which can reset the pitch Forwards, the green backwards, that will go off as well. What most DJs tend to do is try and stay away when they're away when they're mixing from the green line coming on or off. You will either move one either side of the little green mark. The reason they it gets stuck in the groove, there's a little ball bearing underneath, and it's quite difficult to get out. And sometimes the pitch grows a little bit out. Okay, moving on to the tone arm. I'm here. The tone, 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 tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. It is one of the few buildings of note in the village. With a plain but pleasant Georgian front. There is an attractive spiral staircase inside. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Opposite Mansfield House, there is a salutation in. There has been an inn called the Salutation on this site since at least 1668. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head shell itself. Tone arm here and to the head 
shall excel. Turn on here and to the head shall excel. Turn on here and to the head shall excel. Turn on here and to the head shall excel. Turn on here and to the head shall excel. Turn on here and to the head shall excel. Turn on here and to the head shall excel. Turn on here and to the head shall excel. Turn on here and to the head shall excel. Turn on here and to the head shall excel. Turn on here and to the head shall excel. Turn on here and to the head shall excel. Turn on here and to the head shall excel. Turn on here and to the head shall excel. Turn on here and to the head shall excel. Turn on here and to the head shall excel. Okay, most of these pretty much become um, standard now. Um, they already come made up for you. Uh, the the Stanton 500s or the 505s in this particular case, and the needle actually comes off, the head, shell, head case itself actually comes off, and they are replacements. They're the ones that, if you uh, get a bad sound, you will need to replace this little bit of it. Uh, equipment there. Some of them can be quite cheap, and when you're starting off, it's probably a good idea to quite try and get cheap copies if you can, because it, it, you probably will get through a few. But they do get quite expensive as you go on up to the back. You probably will get through a few. Copies if you can, because it, because it, it you probably will get through a few. But they do get quite expensive as you go on up to the better sound quality. You probably will get through a few. But they do get quite expensive as you go on up to the better sound quality. You probably will get through a few. But they do get quite expensive as you go on up to the better sound quality. You probably will get through a few. But they do get quite expensive as you go on up to the better sound quality. You probably will get through a few. But they do get quite expensive as you go on up to the better sound quality. You probably will get through a few. But they do get quite expensive as you go on up to the better sound quality. You probably will get through a few. But they do get quite expensive as you go on up to the better sound quality. But they do get quite expensive as you go on up to the better sound quality. You probably will get through a few. But they do get quite expensive as you go on up to the better sound quality. They do get quite expensive as you go on up to the better sound quality. You probably will get through a few. But they do get quite expensive as you go on up to the better sound quality. You probably will get through a few. But they do get quite expensive as you go on up to the better sound quality. You probably will get through a few. But they do get quite expensive as you go on up to the better sound quality. You probably will get through a few. They do get quite expensive as you go on up to the better sound quality. You probably will get through a few. But they do get quite expensive as you go on up to the better sound quality. You probably will get through a few. But they do get quite expensive as you go on up to the better sound quality. You probably will get through a few. But they do get quite expensive as you go on up to the better sound quality you can get. Uh, all you do is plug it back in there. As you probably already found out yourselves if you've got one. And the little, the little head shell, head shell, shell mo goes, goes back inside the tone arm and you just screw it in like that. Now sometimes, sometimes you will find sometimes that there will be certain problems with these head shells and you may only find that they're only coming out of one channel. When you hear sound, you hear two sides to it. You hear a left and a right. Okay, sometimes you will hear only one side of the channel coming out. You'll think, now what's wrong with that? Uh, sometimes when you, what actually happens is when you screw it into the head, if it's not been screwed in properly or there's a certain amount of fluff or dirt inside there, it will cut one of the channels off. So all you do is you take it off again, make sure that all the connectors are clean and you look inside, see if there's any dirt inside there. And if there is, just give it a little blow, pop it back in again and screw it up nice and tight and you should get your channels come back on as normal. All you do is you press it in the radio. 
to mix and uh, ha add some monics in, uh, in the headphones and things but I think eventually you're going to need the 12 tens if how to monics in, uh, in the headphones and things but Eventually, you're going to need the 12 turns. If, if at all possible, start on the 12 turns and then you're learning good habits straight away. Right. Set structure. If I gave someone perhaps 20 for structure, if I gave someone perhaps 24 records, it would, it would, it would, 24 records. Four records. Four records. Records. Who, who could beat mix? Who probably couldn't make it work in a club? Who, who could beat mix? Who probably couldn't make it work in a club? Who, who could beat mix? Who probably couldn't make it work? Who, who could beat mix? Who probably couldn't make it work in a club? You could beat me. You probably couldn't make it work in a class. You could beat me. You probably couldn't make it work in a class. You could beat me. You probably couldn't make it work in a class. You could beat me. You probably couldn't make it work in a class. You could beat me. You probably couldn't make it work in a class. You could beat me. You probably couldn't make it work in a class. You could beat me. You probably couldn't make it work in a class.
it is here that we're going to see a wide variety of vegetable crops. For our own documentation. This is our cage, and in it, through this season, we're going to grow a variety of different vegetables. And we're going to do it on a rotational basis to fill the fertility of great cycle of pest diseases. We're going to have potatoes. To fill the fertility of great cycle of pest diseases, cycle of pest diseases, cycle of pest diseases, cycle of pest diseases. Potatoes, onions, root crops, legumes, onions, cycle, potatoes, potatoes, onions, root crops, legumes, potatoes, onions, root crops, legumes, potatoes, onions, root crops, legumes, potatoes, onions, root crops, Onions, root crops, legumes, potatoes, onions, root crops, legumes, potatoes, onions, root crops, legumes, potatoes, onions, root crops. Mix in a few salads with those. And what's more, we're going to do it. 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 Most of, our, most of our crops will be sown directly into the soil, but we are going to raise some seeds under cover, and to that end, we are fortunate enough to have inherited a useful, if somewhat battered, greenhouse. Stuff for the veg garden like lettuces and salad crops and things. Yes. Uh, grass and stuff. Yes. And I'm very clever in the forest. We can get some stuff for the veg garden like lettuces and salad crops and things. 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 But we need to clear it out first because hygiene 
and what we call protection coping inside the glass house is really important. Diseases can spread fast, pests can get in, and you can't have control when you go past levels and you can clean it up. Levels and you can clean it up. So another level of chance is going to bring this one back to life. And it's going to be a real bonus to hurry through the summer. Bonus to hurry through the summer. Rather than sowing and planting in one large block of soil in a cage, I'm going to dig a path through the centre to provide access to the beds without constantly walking in the soil. This will shorten my rows and make the garden much easier to manage. The first thing to consider when marking out the paths and shapes of bed is to put strings on. And the second thing is to secure those strings in the middle of their length. So whilst they're secured at one end, obviously, 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 obviously it's, it's important, important that the string isn't allowed to move around too much. So what I've done here is I've left it purposely a couple of centimetres off the ground because I we're going to be digging out a path along the stretch of string line. But the, the reason for these canes really is that in the process of moving soil, if it gets Stay, 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 stay,
Thank <laughs> you. 